What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Queens of the Stone Age. Yes, indeed. Queens of the Stone Age fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined, doing all of the clicks, send the likes, send the bibbidi bibbidi bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Thomas C. And Thomas wanted to see me react to this song by Queens of the Stone Age called Straight Jacket Fitting. Now, have I heard this song before? No. I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a sec, hold everything. I've heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Leonid Kurchitsky. Sure, why not? Yeah, Leonid Kurchitsky. Let's go with that. And the video has 63,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? You ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Queens of the Stone Age, straight jacket fitting, live debut. So this is the first time they played the song live, I guess. Uh, live at Festival Rock Workter, uh, 2023. So this was not too long ago. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Really low. Volume wise. That's that's the video. Oh, man, 
it's good. I mean, it, I, I got no issue with it. It's uh, okay. Well, I have an issue with this video. The, uh, the volume on this video is low. I don't know why. I have no idea why, man, but the sound quality is just down. Um, but as far as the song itself goes, I got no issue with it. I got no problem with it. It's simple. It's very simple. We got that laid back shuffle feel going on. Uh, the chordal progression, it makes sense. It, it feels good. It fits the mood and tone of the feel of the song. Um, vocally, it sounds fine. I got no issue with anything he's doing vocally. Um, now I, I got no problem with this. I'm really curious about this time, though. We're at 2.13. We got another 7.49 to go. Is this how the whole song is going to go? Is the whole song going to stay like this? I hope not. I hope we move around a little bit with this. I really do. I, I hope some things happen within the song to kind of change things up. Otherwise, it's going to be nine minutes. No, ten minutes and some odd seconds of this. It could get a little long in the tooth, if you know what I mean. So, let's see what happens here. They could do it on their own.
The look in your eyes says I love you. I mean, it did move around a little. Very repetitive song, though. Uh, I don't know about this one. I don't know. I need to think about it. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Queens of the Stone Age with Straight Jacket Fitting. This was a request from Thomas C. Yeah, there... The funny thing is, the song's 10 minutes, and I could sum up this entire review in seriously. Just for the song alone, I could sum up a 10-minute song in a minute and a half tops. That's never a good sign. Um... But there's some other factors that, that came in. Trust me, we're going to talk about everything here, okay? But uh, let's get started with the score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.3. 
Yep, 6.3. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. A 6.3, what does that mean? Well, a 6.3 would translate to a pretty good scale rating, so I think this was a pretty good song. Uh, it would translate to three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. So there you go. You got a 6.3, pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with this score? <laughs> so glad you asked. This song was repetitive. Oh man. We are literally talking about two different sections, two different parts and switching between them and that was pretty much all there was to it. Uh, in the riff, it was, it, like in the verses, it, it was the same riff. Uh, do, 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 do. So you have the one, the three, the four, and the five. That's what's being utilized, That that and that's it. It's just the one, the three, and the four, and the five. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the seven was in there too. So one, seven, three, four, five. So it's you have a pentatonic, okay, and, that, and that's all it is. Look, there are a bunch of musicians that made a living with pentatonic scales, okay? They are very, very simple scales to do. It, it's literally one minor three, four, five, minor seven, eight. That, that's it. Um, it. It's all you gotta do is is throw a flat five in there, and you have a blues scale, which is really cool. But I mean, a, a pentatonic scale, like I said, it, it's not a hard thing, it's not a difficult thing, it's a very simple thing to do. Uh, and I know tons of musicians who have made a living writing every song based around pentatonic scales. So, is there anything wrong with that? No, there, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Just don't expect me to sit here and pretend that I'm blown away by that. Oh my God, he's using a pentatonic scale. Oh my God, it's amazing. No. It's not amazing that pretty much every band in history has written at least one song that utilizes pentatonic scales. And then there are other artists who have made their entire career around pentatonic scales. So I'm not gonna sit here and blow things out of proportion. Were they done well? Yeah, sure, they was done well. Yeah, I'll, I'll absolutely give it that. Um, I like the movement, one to the seven, down to the three, to the four, to the five. That, that Instead of just going one, three, four, five, seven, eight, you know, sure, yeah, or, or eight seven five four three one, you know, whichever way you want to go. Now they actually jumped around the pentatonic, which was a little different. But I mean, ultimately, that, that's all it really was. And then they had the second section, which did the exact same thing. They just modulated up. That's all. They 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 did a, they did a, they did a simple key modulation, did the exact same pentatonic patterns, and, and that's really all there was to it. Is that? Gonna, am I going to sit here and say that I'm blown away by that? No, I'm not. I am glad that they did the modulation. It made things a little different. It added a little bit of variety. But when you were talking about that taking two different sections, it, having one in E and having one in in G, I think it was, um, you know, one in E, one in G, but they just kept doing the same thing over and over and over again for 10 minutes. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to sit there and overact to pretend like I'm blown away by this. I, I'm not. It, it, it they, what they did was fine. It was a good job. It had a nice shuffle feel to it. Sure, I, I'll I'll give credit where credit's due. But I'm not gonna sit there and go, oh my god, this is a ten. This is a ten, really? You you you're gonna say that this is a ten? Okay. Look, different strokes for different folks, and there are gonna be people who are gonna listen to this and they're gonna believe wholeheartedly that this is a ten. Okay, fine. That's other people. That is not me. All right, I'm sorry. It's gonna take a lot more than this to say, you know, a nine, you know, or even an eight, you know. I mean, I just, I'm just not gonna do that. So it was, it was pretty good overall. You know, the song felt nice. It had a nice groove to it. It was long. I'm not gonna lie, man. It, a, a 10 minute long song. Yeah, I hate to say it, folks, but it felt longer. It, it felt like 12 minutes. It, it I, I'm probably somewhere between 12 to 13. This song dragged. It absolutely. Drag. Um, I, I this is not something I would want to listen to again. If I'm being honest with you, it's just too repetitive. Uh, did, the song really didn't go anywhere other than that modulation. That was it. Um, and it just, like I said, for ten minutes, it got boring. It, it did, and it's just 
it, it's not my thing. Absolutely not. Uh, if I'm being honest, I would put the song itself down the five. I mean, I, I would give the song like a 5.6, 5.7, somewhere in there. So how did we end up then at a 6.3? If I think the song deserves a 5.7, 5.6, 5.7, then why am I giving this a 6.3? I have said this time and time again on the channel. A good live performance can help your score or it can hurt your score. In this particular case, it helped. It helped quite a bit. Let's go down the checklist, shall we? Stage presence. Um, It was there. It, the, the stage presence was there. You, you, you saw them, you felt them, they made their presence known. Um but they didn't do anything to accentuate it. You know what I mean? They didn't do anything to kind of, you know, make it bigger. They didn't do anything to make themselves seem bigger than light. But I mean, they they were there. They did put on, they, they, they were moving around a little bit. They did let the people know, hey, we're here. So we'll, we'll give it that. Stage energy. I'm gonna give that a check completely thanks to Josh. Uh, he did everything when it came to stage energy, moving around the stage, uh, moving, all the way out to the wings, as a matter of fact. He, he went past the stage and under the wings, both on the left side and the right side, taking the time to get to the next thing we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Uh, but uh, he, he did a great job of moving around the stage, so I will absolutely give it that check. Stage interaction. I was a little worried about this one because I really didn't see anything stage interaction-wise for like the first like eight to nine minutes. But all of a sudden, like during the last two minutes, I saw the bass player and Josh go back and interact with the drummer. So was there stage interaction? There was, so I will give it the check, but I'm gonna be honest with you folks, for a 10 minute long performance, I expect to see a little more crowd interaction than that. If the song was five minutes, okay, sure, sure. Go back and interact with the drummer one time, but the bass player and Josh, okay, fine. For like a four to five minute song, a four to five minute long performance, that's fine. You know, I, 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 got, I got no issue with that. But for a 10 minute long song, there were a lot of opportunities that were missed, especially when Josh took off the guitar and was moving around the stage. He could have taken some opportunities to interact with the other members of the band. So missed opportunities, but they still did get the check mark, all right? Crowd interaction, big check, big check. Yes, I loved seeing that. That was nice to see. Um, especially when it came to the call and response uh, where he was leading the crowd. He, he, and, th and that even actually started when he went out to stage right. Uh, he went past stage left, out to the left wing, came back onto the stage, went all the way out to the right wing, interacting with the crowd the whole time. Then he started doing the call and response, which I thought was really nice, really smart, really strategic. He even got to the point where he let the crowd take over and it was right versus left. He did a great job of seeing the opportunity. That that wasn't planned. He was just having the whole crowd going, but then he realized that the whole crowd was just repeating him, what he was singing. It was they weren't singing the second part like he was trying to get them to do. So then he said, okay, well, we're gonna split. This side's gonna do this part, this side's gonna do this part. And the funny thing is, he did it without actually giving those instructions. He just led them singing to this side the first part, singing to this side the second part, singing to this side the first part, singing to this side to the second part. And eventually the crowd caught on. And I thought that was really smart. People are smart enough to be able to follow direction, okay? And sometimes those directions don't even have to be verbally spoken. Sometimes you can just lead the crowd and the crowd will follow. And that's nice. That's really nice when that happens. I loved it when he just stopped leading them and he let them take over and take control. Talk about absolute great example of crowd interaction and make more importantly than that, making the crowd a part of the show. At that point, the crowd actually became the show and that was really cool. So I absolutely boosted it up their score just for that alone. So that was nice to see. Uh, showmanship. Mm -hmm. I'll give it the check. I'll give it. He, he, look, Josh did put down his guitar. He did go off to the sides. He did move around the stage a lot. It, he, he created the energy. He did create the movement and the motion. He did the crowd interaction. So overall, showmanship, I will give it the check. Um, 
I've seen other bands do far more, but I've also seen other bands do far less. So he gets the check, sure, I'll give it to him. So overall, I mean, did they did they check off all the boxes? They did. Some boxes had much stronger checks than other boxes, but they still did check off all the boxes. And that's how we were able to get from a 5.7 all the way up to a 6.3. That especially the crowd interaction, that really did it more than anything else. So yeah, that's how we came up with the 6.3, folks. Like I said, I would give the song on its own like about a 5.7, 5.8, somewhere in there, maybe 5.6. But uh, the, the live show definitely helped in this case. So yeah, 6.3, I feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 6.3, which is a pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoke. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.